Hey. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know about you. <laughs> if you live somewhere that it's not warm all the time, and you deal with winter weather, and then all of a sudden you get that sunny day, and it just like hits you like you 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 just got injected with like <laughs> that sounds so terrible. Like you literally just got injected with straight up like happy pills. I don't even know what it is, but like it is sixty degrees in Ohio. Uh, last week we had negative temperatures. It was terrible. There was frost on the inside of my windows and today the sun is out and it's 60 degrees. And I feel like I just took all sorts of medication and I just, ah, so happy. So welcome to episode four of conquering my new Everest earning level three of the Sensi incentive trip. Um, so thank you for following along, guys. Thanks for my little excitement rant about the weather. Uh, I am coming to talk to you guys about what I've been doing over the past mm, week, week and a half. I don't know. Uh, the holidays were crazy, as they are for literally everybody. So we had several stops on Christmas, several stops on Christmas Eve, lots of sensing to do. Um, I had my last sensi delivery for before Christmas cutoff, delivered on the 22nd like late at night. And then by the 21st, it was below zero temperatures. We got six inches of snow. Uh, it was so cold that the salt was not working on the roads and it was like almost impossible driving conditions. So I couldn't do any deliveries. So I did deliveries on Christmas Eve. Um, and what I did instead, so we all just stayed in and we were just kind of snowed in here in Cleveland. So uh, nobody really left their houses unless they absolutely had to. You really didn't want to. It was awful. Um, and what I did is I took advantage of the opportunity of everyone being stuck inside, just like we did over COVID. And I was like, what was huge over COVID for me is people were doing these live sales, right? I became addicted to these earrings. This one girl made these earrings that I don't even wear anymore, but I bought like 50 pairs of them because she just did this live selling of earrings like once a week. She'd be like, okay, here's earring number 146. I have two of these available. Comment sold in the number. And I got sucked into it. I was like, oh my God, there's only two of them. I need to claim this. I can't think about if I want it or not. I just have to claim it, right? That excitement. <laughs> it's been a lot of money. Anyways, uh, I was talking to a friend about like clearance sales and how to get rid of stock. Um, and we can't do it on live, obviously for compliance purposes. But what she shared was that she does sales like this with her inventory to clear it out a couple times a year. And she does it in Facebook Messenger. So what she does is she posts about it in her VIP group. She texts her VIPs, say, hey, I'm doing a clearance sale. I'm doing it like in a messenger chat this day, this time, do you want invited? And then she throws everyone into a group messenger and then she just rapid fires. So I tried it out and holy cannoli, I sold $550 worth of stuff and I heavily discounted it because I really just wanted a ton of this stuff out of my house. But anyways, so I do keep light stock, nothing crazy, right? Just light stock uh, for people to shop through when they come to pick up their orders, nothing crazy. Um, and I just took, I did bundles. So I put things in gift bags and I said, okay, this bet, like the gift bag said like Santa's Ben or Elf surveillance. Um, so I just put stuff in gift bags, random stuff. I have no idea what was in it. I said, okay, this is the gift bag. This is the retail value of products in it. This is your price. So for example, I said retail value is 27. Your price is $17. Here's products in there. Now, a lot of the stuff I've gotten on bulk um, bulk orders. So I use um, host rewards for it. A lot of stuff I've gotten in flash sales, stuff I had leftovers from my advent calendars. Um, yeah, so those are all things that I had like thrown in these baskets or little bags, really. So I did the bags and then I just did everything else that I had in stock. I did I did mystery 10 pack of bars for $30. And these are stuff from like, again, flash sales, half offs, host credits, um, all sorts of stuff. So I didn't pay full price for this. I didn't lose any money on this kind of stuff, but I just did it in a group messenger setting. My hair, man. Uh, group messenger setting, posted everything out and I was like, okay, 10 for 30 bars. Here's your package. If you want it, co like cl comment sold and the name of it. So people would be like sold 
Elf, under elf surveillance sold mystery pack of bars sold mystery fragrance flower i did all sorts of stuff i sold 550 dollars worth it now this is not something that just works every single time you do it you can't do it too often it worked really well for me because i knew that my customers that are local to me are snowed in they're not doing anything that's useful today. So it works because people were just hanging out. They weren't doing much. They were bored. They wanted to shop. What do people do when they're bored? They shop. Okay. It's just the truth. So that was super, super successful for me. That's worked really well. Um, I've done a last minute push about um, castle warmers. I've been posting about everything that's leaving January or December 31st. Uh, so all those products I posted about it. Um, so that's been working really well for me. I've gotten a new Scentsy Club subscriber. I've sold tons of stock. I've had quite a few, few people place orders. Um, and then all of the orders, all of the like amount of money that I made from that clearance um, messenger sale, I just reordered it. So I'm just reordering that in stock and other things. And I asked my people, hey, if I was to do this again, what kind of products would you want to see? A lot of them said cleaning products and a lot of them said laundry, which I was really surprised about because I don't have a ton of laundry customers. So I got a ton of laundry stuff, ton of cleaning stuff. I got light bulbs. That was huge. Um, fragrance flowers. And uh, yeah, so that's what I've done. That's worked super well for me. Um, I've had rent people just placing orders on my website, uh, project broadcast. I've been using that. So I sent out a bulk message out to my customers. Hey, this is how far away we are. Uh, I dressed up as the fairy godmother. That was this Halloween costume I had a couple of years ago. Um, so I just took a picture and I was like, your sensi godmother, uh, wants to let you know that all of your fragrance dreams can come true. I'm a big, big, big Disney fan. It's just really authentic to me and it's fun. So Took a picture yesterday of that with my countdown, how much more I had to go. Uh, just, you know, these are the things that are leaving. These are the things you can add to Scentsy Club. So that got me a new club subscriber. I had a customer place an order for wax. And then today I just sat in bed because I was like, I don't want to go to bed. And I messaged all of my local customers and I said, hey, just so you know, I have an order going in tonight, my last order of the year. If you'd like to add anything onto it, let me know. Most of my customers have been adding on wax bars cleaning products, um, and then just other random stuff. So that got me about $100 in orders just today from messaging local people. Hey, do you want to add things on to it? Um, so yeah, that's been working super well. People have been following along. And I've just been reaching out to people that haven't ordered in a while, people that I haven't reached out to in a really long time that I should have but haven't. Uh, so that's been really great. I did have the stomach flu right after Christmas. So Monday night, I had projectile vomit and the other problem. And I was completely out of commission in bed all day sleeping all day Tuesday. Didn't feel great on Wednesday. Yesterday, I finally felt like myself, but I still wasn't 100%. And I did some sensey work. Um, but yeah, so that was something I wasn't expecting. And honestly, guys, I haven't been stressing. I'm just like, you know what? Whatever happens, happens. It's going to happen. I'm going to focus. Blinders up. Focus on what I can do today. I listened to a podcast that as you guys know, I love podcasts. Uh, I listened to a podcast that really changed a lot of things for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link it to this video so you guys can read it or listen to it. Um, but it's really just really changed a lot of things for me. So that podcast really talks about, um, being present in today. And it's not even just being present in like the things that you do, like when you're with family or, you know, when you're relaxing, it's just being present in today. You know, don't worry about the past. Whatever happened in the past already happened. But what's upcoming, that goal? You know, I'm working towards level three. You guys know this. You are probably working towards a goal too if you're watching these. Um, and what's the thing is, is that you need the goal for guidance so you know direction. This is going to tell you what direction you need to go in. But if you constantly focus on that end goal, constantly focus on that 45,000 points that I need, then I'm going to freak myself out. And I'm going to... Be like, oh, I can't do this. This is too much. This I, I can't possibly do this, right? But what he talks about in this podcast is he says, but you need to not focus on that end goal. You need to be present in today. What can you do today that is going to set you up for success to hit that goal in the end? But don't focus on hitting the goal in the end and all the things you have to do over the next 33 days. Focus on what tasks can you do today 
that will help you get there. And when you focus on being present in two days tasks, you feel a lot less stressed. Because trust me, guys, I was freaking out a little bit about being sick. I was like, oh my God, I can't hustle. I can't work my business. What am I going to do? And I said, you know what? It's okay. I'm just going to rest. This is a marathon. It's not a race. It doesn't all have to get done right this second. There's going to be days where I sell a ton and there's going to be days where I don't sell that much at all. And that is okay. So what's been working really well for me is just one-on-one conversations. It's been huge, huge, huge. I've been posting on social media, um, which has been helping a lot. Um, And then the next thing that I've been focusing on is bring back my bars. Like I mentioned before, I pre-sold a whole set of bring back my bars. I'm using the other side of bring back my bar kit to create um, parties. So I'm using one cube from each of the 25 wax bars, putting them into kits. I have been asking people like crazy over the last two days to host parties. Uh, I have one host so far. My goal is to have eight total hosts because I can make eight total kits. Uh, if I don't happen to get eight, to- eight total hosts, I'll use the rest of the kits to make samples for my customers. Um, so yeah, that's been huge. Uh, I've asked tons of people. I have one host so far. I'm going to keep asking people until I get to that eight. My goal is to have four parties booked by the first so I can mail those kits out, know where they're going. They're going to have their parties um, and just kind of move from there. So that's what I'm doing kind of to move forward. I've been advertising the January warmer of the month to all of my Disney loving customers. Uh, If you don't already have Disney loving customers, what you need to do is focus on how can you grow that? Because Disney is a huge, huge, huge part of our business. So I've already pre-sold two of those warmers, which has been incredible. Um, So again, if you have people that are asking for the castle, castle sold out, but you can still offer them this Disney warmer, uh, the Disney drive. And it's super cute. It's not something that just anyone will love, but if anyone loves Mickey, they love old school Disney. uh, They're going to love that. So that is just huge, huge, huge. So make sure you're advertising that uh, Valentine's Day stuff. So my next goal is to keep advertising Mickey and advertise that Valentine's Day stuff. So everyone that's ordered a fragrance flower from me is going to get a little message to say, hey, I want you to be one of the first people to experience this. Sensi is launching their very first colored oil fragrance flower. Super cute scent. Very, very, very fun. Super springy. Um, it's oh so cute. I got the three pack of wax um, pre-ordered. All of the scents are in incredible. I'm in love with them. Uh, So yeah, I'll be making samples with those. I'm going to be talking about that. Hey, here's our Valentine's Day collection. It's launching at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 1st. Who would like one? I'll place an order for you. Uh, So yeah, that's going to be my next goal is just reaching out to everyone that's ordered fragrance flowers, anyone that's ordered gnome stuff, uh, anyone that usually likes wax collections, telling them about that three pack, talking about that Disney warmer, trying to collect as many pre-orders as I can for January 1st, uh, and then bring back my bars. So what I'm going to do today is go live. I've got all of the bring back my bars. Uh, I did this last year, exactly today. Uh, we had pink haze for those of you that know me well enough, you know, that pink haze is my absolute nemesis. It makes me physically gag. Thank goodness it's not back because I don't want to get back in the throw up phase that I dealt with over the past several days. Um, so yeah, it's just been, it's crazy. And you know, and I don't feel stressed. I, I feel just good ever since I listened to that podcast of just focusing on today instead of obsessing over what's to come. I've just been so much better. I've been so much more calm. I feel good. I'm just focusing on everything I can do today. And you know what, whatever I did yesterday doesn't matter. Whatever I didn't do yesterday doesn't matter. It's a new day. It's a fresh day. I'm going to focus on everything I can do today. And then as soon as today's over, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to relax with my boy and I'm going to go wake up tomorrow. We're going to try again. It's going to be great. So live with the bring back my bar stuff, collecting pre-orders, following up with people that ordered stuff that's discontinuing on the 31st, uh, talking about the new Disney warmer coming out, talking about the Valentine's Day collection coming out and getting hosts for those bring back my bar parties. So all great things. Super excited. I hope these have been helping you guys with the ways that you can work your business. Uh, Of course, let me know if you're hanging out, you're cheering me on, you're watching these videos. I want to hear about it. What are you working on? Uh, And seriously, listen to this podcast. It is so, so good. So good. By the way, it's all part of the Ed Milet show. And I just giggle every single time. It's like, 
welcome to the Ed Myla show. I just absolutely almost pee my pants every time. It's so childish. And I think it's the funniest thing with the way he says it just <laughs> cracks me up. So I am going to go do my Bring Back My Bar Live and then I'm going to go for a walk and enjoy this weather because not everything is work. Um, do what I can get done today. I'm going to hang out with my friend. We're going over to her house for dinner. And just remember, Sensi is not your entire life. It's not meant to be your entire life. Do what you can with the time that you have and enjoy the rest of it. I love you guys. I hope you're doing well. And here's some more videos.